What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today I got a tutorial to show you guys on how I got the futuristic happy dance look. Your girl get pole light skin from a band-aid. Nothing that you say sticks like Pam spray. Yeah. So recently I took to Twitter and I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see tutorial-wise, and a good number of you talked about uh, show how to do happy dance. So I'm assuming you guys want to see how I got the vintage kind of home 90s vibe look and feel to the video. Um, and so I'm gonna go over that today and jump into the tutorial on how I got that look and how you guys can get that look for your videos too. So follow me over to the computer. Let's get started. All right, guys, welcome. Let's get right into it. This effect um, is going to be really easy to do. It's more of a kind of color grade um, than anything. And so basically to get this more vintage 90s VHS vibe, the first thing I did is I got Magic Bullets Universe plugin. And what their Universe uh, plugin does, it gives you a bunch of these different types of plugins. Uh, for you know Adobe Premiere as well as other editing softwares, but this is their Magic Bullet Universe. Um, and for this specific look and effect of the video, um, I came down in here and I chose their VHS plugin. So simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this onto this clip to show you guys. Now I dragged this effect onto an adjustment layer. Um, now how you create an adjustment layer is you come right here and you hit this little new item right here, adjustment layer and drag that in and apply typically i apply all my color um, to the adjustment layer so since this is kind of a color effect in a way we're going to drag it there and now anything below that adjustment layer is going to be affected um, any clip period so here you can see this is a little overdone um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come up here in the preset and what I chose for this particular one was actually, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember exactly, this isn't the timeline, but uh, Betamax, it's a little softer. You can tell here it's just a little softer in the grain, and it kind of creates this RGB color separation here. Um, and instead of 4.3 um, on the frame style, we're going to come over here to go to original, so we get rid of those black bars there. So now you can see if I play the clip, we have this, uh, you know, it's not really playing right now. Let me see if I can drop the frame right here. Let's see if it'll play a little better. Yeah, so you can see there, it's just kind of got this old VHS look to it. Um, so that was part of the process in getting this look. Um, from there though, I didn't leave it like this. I dialed it in a little, a little more because this was a little too strong for me and my, uh, my taste. So you, to take it down, you would just come down here um, to the blend with original. So what that means, it's gonna blend with the original clip. So the more we take this up, you can see it goes away. Set to zero, set to 100. So I think I found like a little middle ground, kind of right around 50 or 40, to where it's like blending and you have the effect, but it's not overdone. Um, the other thing I did is un under the tape damage, that there's a thing called a pop line, and every once in a while you can see it popping up right here. There's like a little jitter pop line. And um, I just took that down, um, so it wasn't as frequent. I think I took it down to maybe around 10%. You can come in here and choose the noise as well. So with all their plugins and effects, you can really dial it in. Like you, you're gonna throw the clip, uh, the effect on, but then you're gonna wanna come in and dial it in. Um, take that, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Has that kind of VHS look, a little bit of grain, a little bit of, little bit of noise. You can you know, adjust the jitter and how much it jitters as well as the color, um, the color controls. So again, I can take this offset layer and let's find a good close up kind of. And if I drag this red out, you can see how it really separates there. You can see kind of the, I don't even know what you want to call it, the separation in the colors, the RGB. So you can really play with this here and dial this in. You can go either way, left or right trip it out um, I did something a little more subtle but yeah so that's how you you're gonna play with that and choose that but before you do that you're gonna want to color your video and then layer this over the color so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in real quickly we're gonna go to Lumetri color we're gonna drop that onto we'll just drop it onto this adjustment layer we'll take this universe off for now the VHS we're gonna come into creative this little creative tab on our Lumetri color and we're gonna select a LUT so I'm gonna come in here and pick a tropic color teal and orange LUT let's do let's see what deluxe looks like 
a little heavy on the blue. Let's do chroma. Cool. So it's a little strong for this clip. So all we're going to do, and you, you always want to apply it in the creative tab because then you can take the intensity of that LUT down. So here's zero, there's, you know, a hundred. So we're going to just drop it down to probably around a 40. That's good. Um, we're going to take the vibrance up a little bit to get a little more color and perfect. Now we're going to reapply this universe VHS over the top of that and now bam we have our vintage look VHS and that's basically how I colored and created the vintage look for the happy dance video so if you have any questions about how to how to further you know get this look or you have any questions concerns feel free to comment below I'll answer any um, comments and questions you guys have um, but I appreciate you guys watching this tutorial and I hope you guys learned how to create a vintage look for your videos. If you like what you saw, make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, make sure you click that little bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. We're always uploading one takes, tutorials, music videos, movies, all that sort of good stuff. So make sure you stay subscribed. Um, let me know if there's a tutorial. You guys, tutorial is such a weird word. Let me know if there's another tutorial you guys want to see next in the comments below. Um, I'm always checking out the comments to see what you guys want to see. So with that being said, I will see you the next time I see you. Peace.